We founded the Steam Factory back in December of 2012. Uh, we had a handful of faculty that were new to Columbus and they were looking for opportunities to interact and engage with one another and possibly start some kinds of new research collaborations. We needed to create the environment and the space where all of these people could start meeting with one another and then just allowing things to develop organically and naturally. We wanted to include all disciplines, not just the STEM disciplines, science, technology, engineering, and math, but also arts and humanities and everything else that's included within Ohio State. We've now grown to 140 faculty. Uh, spanning more than 90 different departments and offices at Ohio State. I'm in the math and statistics departments at OSU, and I met uh, Skylar Cranmer, who's an uh, associate professor in uh, the political science department here at OSU at one of the Steam Factory events. We're interested in how people uh, incorporate, share, and spread uh, healthcare related information. Uh, through social networks. This project would never have started if it weren't for Steam Factory. I mean, we wouldn't have, uh, we wouldn't necessarily have met um, in, in, in the right environment. I'm an oncologist by training, and a lot of what we do is very clinical, but the large other half of it is uh, on the emotional side. So some of the, uh, some of the art interpretation or how the photographer works, or how do you capture those moments, are really resonated with me. There are artists here who could help me out with that endeavor. So it's been kind of this really cool communal environment where people are very, very willing to help each other. Ultimately, for, for research to really make an impact, you know, we have to be able to, to sell it to the public. On certain Friday nights, uh, we open up our, our space here uh, to, to the public and we uh, showcase uh, a few of our faculty members and, and their projects. Franklinton's been exploding ever since I got here. With all of the artists that are here, we've started working on various collaborations with them. The community here has been growing. I've been seeing this neighborhood uh, really transforming and the artists coming into this area has been uh, really refreshing and, and really inspiring for, for me.